Hey, what's up, guys? Crossover Thirteen here, and uh, today I'm giving uh, a, a tutorial on ten quick tips for beginners for Sony Vegas. I'm talking like real basic. Like you've just got the program, open it up, and you have no idea what to do. So if you had a if you have a bit of background knowledge on the program, um, I'd probably just exit now, as these tips are really really quick and easy. So we'll start off with the um the first one, which is uh the project properties. Now, uh, this is the first thing I always do before I start my uh, at in start importing my footage. So we can access access it by clicking Alt Enter on the keyboard, or we can just go File and then down to Properties. Now you open this up here, and you'll see there'll be a um, width of the video, your height. Um, the what cut up time motion blur all this kind of information here now for YouTube high, high definition um, for the height width we want 1280 and for the height we want 720 um, that's the YouTube HD so once YouTube rec YouTube recognizes that it'll put its HD uh, the next thing you want to do is the uh, pixel aspect aspect ratio that will be set to uh, NTSC D D DV sorry um, put that to one square. If we don't do that, it'll put um, a small thing black line on top and, and won't fill the whole screen. Um, the rest of the stuff you can just leave, or if you're confident enough, you can fiddle around with it and whatever you want. Uh, the rest of the other tabs we can leave as well. Hit apply and then OK, and you'll notice that it's um, changed your. Um, preview window here to the dimensions seen down here which is 1280 by 720. Here, I was going to split into two parts because I thought it was really basic. Uh, I'll put it into the um, the one the one tip. So um, it's importing uh, is the first one. Um, to do that we can go um, file import media and then you can just browse for your um, your file that you want to import or the much easier way well, that I prefer is just dragging the file into the um, project media down here um, I don't actually have any footage at the moment as I just reformatted so I just grabbed the uh, default wildlife video <laughs> that comes with uh, Windows so we'll just drag that into the project media like so my computer's lagging yes get rid of that so now we can we've got it here in the project media so now we can drag this into our timeline down here and you'll see it appear as a like a um, kind of low opacity and drag, or drag and drop it in there now we've got our clip in the uh, timeline here we've got our audio track and our video track and we can just kind of we can pan it through here with the uh, through here like this or we can um, there's um, play stop buttons down here, and that'll play it like so. Um, the next tip, which I was going to put into the, uh, separate clips, is uh, the first one, which is uh, fading in. Now to do that, you'll notice in, at the start of the clip, there'll be a tiny little blue arrow. If we hold our cursor over that, it'll put the fade, say fade offset. If we are uh, click we can then drag it across the longer you drag it across obviously the longer the fade in so I'll do it say here and then if we play that back it'll uh, fade in as so Jesus my computer's lagging a lot okay the, uh, the next one is uh, cutting clips uh, this one's really simple just grab the letter here and wherever you want to cut it say I want to cut it here just click S on your keyboard and that will just cut it split it whatever you want to call it so now you've got two uh, individual clips so just say I don't want this this bit clip here I can just click delete and I've got rid of it okay the next tip here I'm going to show you is I'm um, speeding up and slowing down your clips this one, once again, is really simple. Uh, the first way, there's two ways that I'll show you. Uh, the first way I'll show you is um, if you put your cursor on the edge of your clip and then hold down control, 
and then drag outwards. Outwards means it um it'll be slower because it has longer clip to play. Or if you want it faster, drag it inwards, and that'll play that'll play quicker. So that's very simple that way. Or the alternative way, if you right click on your um, footage and go properties, you will see um playback rate. It's default set at one, which is normal speed. So if you wanted to make that slower, you'd go below one. So you'd go like 0 0.500, and that'll obviously make it slower. Or you could go 1.500, which would make it faster, obviously. Okay, this one kind of revolves around the effects effects side of things, but um, if we have our clip we can uh, split it as I mentioned before and then you've got the two separate clips now in order to do this up the top of your here where all your tools are there'll be a button up here where my mouse is highlighted it says uh, automatic crossfades now if that isn't on this won't work so make sure that's ticked on and then once that's on if you grab grab a clip you can then mm, put it over top of the other one and then you'll notice how it's like crossfaded there'll be an X so if you played that back, while one clip continues to play, the other one will start to fade in and give it a uh, really simple, easy look. They like are like event pan cropping. This one's useful if you want to zoom into something or pan across an image or a certain piece of footage. Now uh, to access the event pan crop, you right click on your footage and then go to video event pan crop. That'll bring up this window here which might look confusing at first but you'll get the hang of it um, you have a mini timeline down here which is the footage that you've you know, event pan crop so that's just playing through and then around the footage you have uh, like this box which is where the video camera is pointing so this at the moment it's filling the whole screen but if I move it upwards holding down shift to snap it you can see on the arm um, over here on the footage that we've cut off the top half of it. Now we can actually do keyframes of this. So, say we want to, I'll put this down here, and at oh, at zero seconds. So you move your um, little cursor back here at zero seconds. We want it the key off it, so it'll be black. And then at five seconds, I'll put the uh, cursor here. We want to. Oh, the computer's lagging up, sorry guys. We'll add a keyframe and then drag this across back to the footage. And then that'll make it come in from the left. So if we play that back, we can see how it fades across and comes in uh, coming from the right sorry so I'll play that back in my um, real time here <laughs> 